Hi all. Uh, today we discuss uh, the uh, other two methods for uh, solving algebraic and transcendental equation. Uh, uh, the first uh, in this session uh, 22.16b, uh, we will discuss the uh, method bisection method. This method is also known as uh, Bolzano method and uh, this interval halving, met halving method as well. So this uh, this method has. Uh, has three names, three different names: bisection method, Bolzano method, interval halving method. Okay, so in this uh, uh, method, uh, we uh, we start with a continuous function, and uh, we start with a continuous function. Uh, this is our continuous function. We draw the graph of the continuous function here. Suppose we have this is the graph of our continuous function. Like this, okay. This is f of x. So first, you uh, find out uh, the first approximation uh, by considering consecutive, consecutive positive integers, say a and b. Uh, these are a and b. And suppose that f of a is uh, less than f of b, then you can uh, consider x naught, the first approximation, or x one. Anyway, x1 as uh, this f of a if f of a is less than b with the condition that f of a is less than 0 f of b is uh, greater than 0 if this is the case then we choose this as the uh, uh, first uh, approximation uh, and uh, or you can uh, consider this f, f uh, this a as this is not f of a uh, we have uh, a as our x naught and we write the first approximation. What is the first? Uh, this is the uh, initial approximation of first approximation. And we take uh, x1 uh, as the uh, half of these two numbers, half of a plus b. Okay. So that 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 will give that will uh, bisect this uh, interval as this. Okay. So this is half of. Uh, suppose this is the exact half. I'll uh, write this b here and this is our b then you can easily understand that this is the half of these two numbers and uh, once you evaluate this f of a that is negative here this is f of a uh, that is a negative value uh, and uh, if you uh, evaluate f of b then that will be positive value okay and we write this is half of a plus b and this is defined to be x1 then when you evaluate this f of x1 then you can get the value of f of x1 is here okay that means f of x1 is positive okay so uh, when you compare uh, three numbers a b and uh, x1 uh, here the function value f is negative uh, here the function value is uh, positive uh, and uh, here x1 value is positive okay so uh, we choose a and x1 for the next value okay so we neglect this number because uh, a b uh, this a x1 is the smaller interval than the uh, before okay so we uh, consider uh, a and x1 okay consider this interval a and x1 now we can get f of a is negative and f of x1 is uh, positive okay sometimes you may get, you may get this f of x1 is negative okay so sometimes you may get x1 uh, somewhere here then at that time we can uh, 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 if you evaluate f of x1 then f of x1 will be negative so you can uh, take the interval x1 and b here because f of b is positive f of one f of x1 is negative okay but in this case we choose f of a is negative f of x1 is positive okay now you uh, consider the uh, uh, x2 the other and uh, the next approximation the second approximation as uh, f of x2 is equal to half of these two numbers sum of these two numbers a plus x1 okay then suppose this is our x2 uh, then this is the half of x1 and a then you may get uh, the functional value okay the function value is negative here okay then you consider the values a uh, x1 and x2 okay here we have a is negative and uh, he, uh, at uh, the point a f is negative at x1 this is uh, positive 
and here we have x2 is negative okay then we will choose these two numbers okay because uh, these are the smaller interval than uh, a a to x2 okay we, we can ne never take this a and x2 as well because a is at a f is negative uh, as well as at uh, x2 f is negative so we need to uh, take two numbers uh, at which this f uh, uh, the sign of f is different okay so we consider uh, the other x2 uh, x1 the interval we choose the interval x1 and x2 okay so uh, once you uh, obtain this x1 you can evaluate f of x1 okay and uh, at the point x2 you can evaluate f of x2 you can evaluate these values okay if this value is equal to 0 then we are done then x1 is the root of this equation okay otherwise you uh, move on to this uh, the other approximation if uh, if you are given f of x2 and f of x uh, if you if you obtain f, f of x2 and sorry x2 and uh, evaluating f of x2 if you get this is equal to 0 then you are done then that that value x2 is equal is the uh, x2 is the uh, uh, root of that equation okay if this is not equal to 0 then you can uh, uh, go to uh, the other approximation by choosing x1 and x2 because this is the smallest interval here okay this is x1 and this is x2 now you evaluate the half of this uh, and denote it as x3 that half of x1 plus x2 that will be uh, somewhere here that is the half of this and if we take the uh, x3 here then x f of x3 is positive okay then if you evaluate at that at that time we can write f of x3 if this is equal to 0 then we are done x3 is the root otherwise you may write the values uh, uh, we have three values uh, x1 uh, x2 and x3 x1 is negative at x2 is positive and uh, sorry x2 x at x1 is positive and x2 is negative at x3 is again positive okay so now we choose these two intervals because these are the opposite signs and the, the new interval will be x2 comma x3 okay and we repeat this process okay uh, using this x2 and x3 you uh, define x4 that is half of x2 plus x3 then evaluate f of x4 if this is equal to 0 we are done otherwise you uh, you can go to the other approximation x y by choosing the uh, opposite signs from uh, the uh, from, from the numbers x2 x3 and x4 okay so this is the uh, this method is called uh, bisection method now we can uh, discuss a problem uh, 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 to find the uh, root of the equation using uh, bisection method uh, this is the example uh, find find the root of uh, the equation uh, x cube minus x minus 11 okay x cube minus x, x minus 11 equal to 0 correct to four decimal places using bisection method so this was the question so first of all we write uh, f of x equal to uh, x cube minus x minus 11 and uh, you evaluate or you need to find out two points uh, two numbers consecutive numbers first we uh, choose uh, you, first of all you can choose f of 1 f of 1 is 1 minus 1 minus 11 that is uh, uh, that is negative 11 uh, and f of 2 if you evaluate f of 2 then you can get 8 minus 2 uh, minus 11 again that is uh, 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 minus 5 uh, and this these two uh, values are negative so you need not you need not take these two values then just evaluate f of 3 that will be 27 minus 3 minus 11 okay this is positive okay so you you can take consecutive numbers as these two numbers 2 and 3 that means you can assure that there is a 0 in between 2 and 3 okay so first of all uh, you take you you know that this f of 2 uh, this f of 2 is less than f of 3 uh, therefore you take x naught is equal to 2 then to get the first approximation what is x1 x1 is equal to half of 2 plus 3 okay that is uh, 5 5 by 2 that is equal to uh, 2.5 so this is our f of x uh, this is our x1 
that is the first approximation then evaluate f of x1 what is f of x1 f of, you can evaluate f of x1 as uh, 2.5 whole cube minus 2.5 minus uh, 11 okay 2.5 whole cube minus 2.5 minus 11 you can evaluate this using a calculator so uh, when you evaluate this you can get this as a uh, positive quantity so uh, we know that this is positive uh, by evaluating this you can get this as a uh, positive quantity now uh, you can get uh, the, these three values what are the three values uh, 2 is there 3 is there uh, and 2.5 is there so you can write uh, this uh, this in this order 2 uh, is there 2.5 is there 3 is there yes at uh, the function value f of x at 2 is uh, negative and at 2.5 is uh, positive and 3 is uh, again positive okay so these are three values so uh, we can neglect this number because uh, these are the two uh, negative and positive opposite signs and uh, that will reduce the interval as 2 comma 2.5 okay now uh, uh, you evaluate uh, the functional value uh, uh, the uh, next approximation uh, this is x2 x2 is obtained by uh, taking the uh, half of this to some of these two numbers 2.5 uh, 2 plus 2.5 by 2 that is 2.25 you can evaluate f of x2 okay what is f of x2 what is f of x2 x2 is uh, i'll write the value uh, minus 1.859375 uh, 859375 when you evaluate this using this equation uh, you can get the value this so this is negative okay since this is negative uh, then uh, we have uh, this is not equal to zero then we have three numbers uh, for uh, that is two uh, 2.25 2.5 so these are the three values here f of x takes the value at, at 2 we have negative at uh, that is less than 0 uh, that is uh, I'll write it as negative negative uh, at 2.25 we have negative uh, at 2.5 we have positive okay so these are the uh, uh, these are the three values now you can take these two numbers because these two numbers are negative then this will be uh, the opposite sign so our interval reduces to 2.25 and 2.5 now you can evaluate x3 what is x3 half of the half of the sum of this 2.25 plus 2.5 then you can get the half of uh, the sum as 2.375 okay so that will be uh, our 375 will be the uh, half of or third approximation then just evaluate f of x3 okay f of x3 will give uh, 0. Point, uh, 0. 0. Uh, 2148 2148 uh, that 43 okay, that is for 214843 okay uh, then this is the value of f of x2 and f of uh, x3 so this is a uh, positive value this is greater than 0 so just observe that uh, these two values of uh, uh, these two values of uh, x2 and x3 so uh, we are uh, uh, asked to obtain the root uh, correct up to uh, uh, four decimal place so you need to try uh, you need to write uh, uh, four decimal place always okay or four or five decimal place always so we have this is uh, five decimal place this is five decimal place then you can uh, observe that this is uh, uh, this is not uh, uh, correct up to the uh, uh, four decimal place okay so you need to uh, carry out this process uh, all the way up to uh, 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 up to the point at which uh, you can get two consecutive approximations say xn and xn plus one with a equal four decimal place okay so you evaluate uh, in the similar fashion you can evaluate uh, x uh, x4 uh, x5 uh, x6 uh, and so on okay i am not going to uh, uh, write out all those uh, uh, expressions but i will give you the values of those uh, uh, values and after uh, 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 repeating this process uh, in 
15 or 16 uh, steps you can get x uh, x 14 uh, and 15 okay uh, at x 15 is uh, i'll write the value of uh, x 14 first x 14 is uh, etc we can get the 14 stage uh, we can get x 14 is equal to 2.3735 2.3735 uh, 9 okay and uh, x5 as x15 as not x5 x15 uh, is nothing but uh, 2.37 2.37362 uh, okay I, 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 I'll be writing only five places so if you consider these two numbers uh, uh, rounded off to uh, four places you can get this is 2.37 Three six. Since this nine is greater than five, uh, you can get uh, this. Uh, if you correct up to four places, you can get two point three seven three six. Here we have two point three seven three six. Since this is two, you can neglect that number. So when you uh, correct to four decimal places, you can get uh, these two x uh, uh, approx uh, these two uh, approximations x fourteen and x fifteen uh, are the same. If you can get this type of uh, uh, correctness or, or uh, correct up to four decimal place, then you can fix this is the uh, root. Okay, this is uh, correct up to four decimal place. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, actual uh, or approximate, not actual approximate root of uh, the equation. Okay, so this is this explains the uh, bisection method, uh, and uh, we will discuss one more method uh, is there. So uh, uh, this method is called uh, iteration method. Uh, in this method, uh, we need to uh, write. Uh, we are uh, we are asked to obtain the root of uh, this equation. Then we write this f of x uh, equal to zero as uh, uh, we write this equation as x equal to phi of x. Okay, we write uh, uh, equation uh, as x equal to something. Okay, it's x equal to a function of x itself. Okay, if once you write this, then then you can uh, easily uh, find out the first approximation. We already uh, uh, discussed how to find out the first approximation. So once you got the uh, first approximation by taking a and b uh, with f of a is less than zero or uh, vice versa, f of b uh, greater than zero, or you can expect f of a is greater than zero. Uh, f of b is uh, less than 0. In this case, uh, x0 is equal to uh, a. In this case, x0 is equal to b. If uh, b, uh, b, b is f of b is less than 0, then this, this is taken as the first approximation or the initial approximation. Then uh, you can get this x1 as phi of x0. And x2 can be obtained by take, uh, considering phi of x1 and x3 can be uh, obtained using phi of x2 and so on okay so these are the uh, best approximations for uh, the roots of this fi uh, f of x okay so the only thing you need to uh, remember is uh, if you write uh, if you have a, if you are given a function f of x then there are several uh, 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 several methods to write this uh, x equal to phi of x but you need to uh, remember that phi dash of x should be uh, less than 1 to carry out this uh, method, iteration method, okay. Then only these x1, x2, x3 tends to uh, or will give the uh, uh, the root of this equation, okay. So however this, uh, uh, this uh, phi dash of x, the modulus of that should be less than 1, okay. Uh, how much this is uh, uh, small then uh, the convergence of the this x1, x2, x3. That means this uh, rapidly uh, give the uh, solution of this uh, f of x equal to zero. Okay. Now we can uh, discuss uh, the example for uh, this method. Uh, this is the uh, example for iterative method or iteration method. So first of all, you need to find out two consecutive integers. So if we try uh, start trying with one. And that is f of 1, 1 is 1 minus 1 minus 1, uh, that is equal to minus 1, that is negative, and f of 2, 
uh, if you evaluate 8 minus 2 minus 1 uh, that is 6 minus 1 that is 5 that is uh, greater than uh, 0 then you can uh, uh, fix that uh, uh, f of 1 and f of 2 uh, are opposite signs uh, then uh, you can get uh, this uh, 1 and 2 that means f of x equal to 0 as a root root in between in between 1 and uh, 2 so these are the uh, two numbers but f of 1 is negative f of 2 is positive so we take initial approximation uh, as uh, uh, x1 we can denote it as x0 or x1 x1 as 1 okay so uh, if you write this then rewrite uh, this x uh, this equation uh, as uh, x cube is equal to uh, x plus 1 we rewrite this equation as x cube is equal to uh, x plus 1 or you can write this x equal to uh, x plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 3 okay x plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 3 then this is denoted by phi of x so our phi of x is x plus 1 whole to the power uh, 1 minus 3 so our initial approximation is 1 so just verify that phi dash x what is phi dash x here uh, phi dash x is uh, obtained by uh, 1 by 3 times uh, x plus 1 1 by 3 minus 1 1 by 3 minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 3 x plus 1 raised to minus 2 by 3 okay now you just evaluate uh, this phi dash x at uh, x equal to one, x x 1 uh, at x equal to 1 that is phi dash of 1 okay this is in fact uh, our intention is to evaluate phi dash of uh, x1 uh, that is modulus of phi dash of uh, 1 what is phi dash of 1 phi dash of uh, 1 is equal to 1 by 3 times uh, 2 to the power minus 2 by 3 okay that is equal to uh, 0 0.21 just evaluate this using a calculator then you can get this value is less than 1 okay therefore uh, you can uh, write this or you can take this uh, phi of x to uh, carry out the uh, iteration method okay so uh, if you are uh, setting x1 first then uh, you need to evaluate modulus of phi dash of 1 okay then this value is less than 1 then you can easily carry out the uh, the iteration method that is uh, to evaluate x2 uh, you need to evaluate phi of x1 that is if we already uh, uh, write what is phi of x phi of x is this one x plus uh, uh, this is phi of 1 uh, x1 is 1 here then for what is phi of 1 that is 1 plus 1 whole raised to 1 by 3 uh, that is 2 raised to uh, 1 by 3 that is equal to 1.26 you just evaluate this with a, a calculator then uh, you need, now you can easily ver uh, verify x uh, you can easily find out x3 you need not ver uh, verify this equation but this equation uh, uh, will be verified only once in the beginning of uh, uh, the iteration method that means uh, this equation is verified only for x1 for the first approximation okay now you can uh, find out x3 that is phi of x2 we can get uh, we could get this uh, x2 as 1.26 then phi of 1.26 that is 1. Uh, 2 6 plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 3 this is the uh, expression then that will be uh, 1.312 uh, uh, this is x3 similarly you can find x4 what is x4 that is phi of x3 what is phi of x3 phi of 1.312 so using calculator evaluate 1.312 plus 1 whole to the power uh, 1 by 3 so that will be uh, 1.322 1.322 and observe that these two uh, places uh, if you observe this then uh, by uh, uh, round, uh, rounding off to two decimal places you can get this is 1.31 this is 1.32 and uh, next we write uh, uh, of x5 what is x5 here that is phi of x4 you can get the value of this as 1.324 and you compare this with uh, this uh, then you can uh, uh, you can get that 
where those two uh, values are the uh, same then uh, you can get 31.32 okay this is these two values are the same then you can get uh, these are the uh, this is the x raised to 5 is the root of the equation 1.32 is the root okay so this is the way we evaluate a root of the equation using hydration method okay uh, now we have uh, three more methods in the next classes we will discuss uh, the other three uh, methods of uh, numerical methods of solving uh, solution to uh, numerical uh, algebraic and transcendental equation okay thank you